Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, we've been working in the garden and weeding and watering and picking. And I, we've canned uh, pickles today. Now it's evening time. It's time to have something for supper. And it's hot outside. So I want something that's simple and quick and easy to fix. And I wanted to show you I've got my first sliced tomatoes of the year. So I thought that I might have tomatoes and gravy for supper and I'm going to kind of show you guys how I do it and what it looks like when it's done. Now some of you have said that I'm not all that weird, that you're familiar with uh, tomatoes and gravy and some of you have told me the way you did it with, uh, with biscuits and your tomato on top there and then the gravy and some of you have told me about tomato gravy and uh, so it excites me to know that I'm not the only one in this world that knows what tomato gravy is. So I'm going to pan the camera down to the skillet and show you what I've got going on. Okay guys, now what I do is I just make a skillet of gravy. And I've got my pan drippings in here. Bacon grease is what I'm using. That's my favorite for this type of meal. To use bacon drippings but I've used other things too when I'm having fried chicken and I'm gonna have sliced tomatoes on the side well then I'll, of course I'll use the chicken drippings to make gravy and I've just simply got my flour in here and the bacon drippings and I'm letting that flour cook so that it doesn't have a raw taste and just simply making this simple little paste and then I'm gonna it's about ready to pour my milk in I'm going to put some milk in here and I'll get this going. And make this good old pan of milk gravy. And it'll thicken up nicely and I'll salt and pepper it. And it'll begin to come together pretty quickly. Now salt and pepper of course is to your liking. I like a lot of pepper. And I like salt but I try to watch how much salt I put in it. But I'm kind of heavy handed on the, on the pepper. I'll tell you in my household, I'm the only one that eats tomato and gravy. Howie didn't like it. He liked tomatoes and he liked gravy, but he raised his eyebrow when I would put tomato or gravy on my tomato. And Blade, he pretty much did everything his daddy did. Liked what his daddy liked, didn't like what his daddy didn't like. So, of course, I was the only one they got to really enjoy the tomato gravy. Now you see it's getting thicker here and it's just about ready. I'm going to uh, concentrate on getting this gravy ready and I'll bring you back when I can get it poured on my tomatoes. Okay, the gravy is ready and all I have left to do is just get those tomatoes covered and I'll be ready for a good simple country supper makes me think of my childhood and uh, that's a good thing now the amount of gravy and tomato is up to you depends on how hungry you are and if this is your main dish or it's a side so there it is for me so there it is guys, a simple little side dish or main dish depending on what you're, what you're hungry for of tomatoes and gravy. This is what it looks like when I'm talking about it. Just simply slice tomatoes with gravy over the top. This is going to be delicious and I can't hardly wait. Now I know this gravy is going to be really hot.
Mm. It's good, y'all. Give it a try. See if you don't like it. <clears throat> it's good even if you have fried chicken on the side or ham or, or beans, whatever. Fresh sliced tomatoes and gravy. Fried potatoes. Give it a shot. See if you don't like it. See if you don't discover something new. Well, until next time, guys, this is Josie, and uh, look well to the ways of your household. I love y'all. I really do. We're gone.